Good morning and welcome to quarterfinal time at the Australian Ultimate Championships for 2024. A dormant rivalry awakens with heads of state Melbourne juggernaut taking on the top flight team Hot Chili, both Melbourne teams. My name's Andrew Moroni and I'm joined this morning by Simon Talbot. Simon, we not go home time. Oh, it's day three of nationals. This is when things start to get real as we take a look at the Hot Chili squad. Their first visit to the quarterfinals since 2017. We're going to be keeping an eye on a few different players today. Number three, Josh Lapari, giving him plenty of run through the middle. We're going to keep an eye on number 32, Reagan Turner on defense. And we cannot ignore the big number 42, the six foot eight or six, seven foot, we'll just say, Polish man, Tom Rigaki. Made the Australian horse. national team at age, I'm going to say 50. Pushing 50. Pushing 50. Let's take a look at Juggernaut. Number nine, Tom Della on the offensive line in the captaincy role. He'll be getting busy today. We're also going to keep an eye on number 59, Michael Trong. And also, I've been really impressed with by number 86, Lockie Eichner, during the pool play, getting his hands on plenty of locks. So keep an eye on him today. The flip has been done. It will be chilly and dark to the left of screen. Pulling to heads of state. Uh, pulling to Melbourne Juggernaut, rather. The siren's gone. The energy is up from both teams, and we are away. Sweeney to Barr. Running with sort of three handles back there. Classic horizontal set. Looks junky. Tom yep. not really marking anyone. Hamrickson. Wanting to move it to the middle, but no one's obliging. Sweeney. Cut starting to really extend now. Tony's Castriano's gone. gone. Paul's gone up. Can he run this one down? He's got to get there comfortably. Knock one of the end zone lines. Got Calivios in support. And Calivios just finds that corner. And Juggernaut put the first one on the board. He made him work for it. Tolf was, <laughs> Calaviotis was open for about <laughs> eight seconds. <laughs> nice put and from uh, Calivio. Watch. Yep. What's his real name? I don't know. Pedrag Sweeney. Sweeney. Pedrag? Pedrag. Sweeney. The Irish import. Irish. Yep. He's uh, second year with Juggernaut. And so, both teams from Melbourne, both teams from the inner east of Melbourne, and quite the rivalry they've had over the years. It's been 2007 was uh, the first time they matched up, and it's been fairly heated, passionate games ever since, Andy. You've been, you were involved in a few of them back in the day. Yeah, on, on the wrong end of a few of them as well. <laughs> um, the w one year I didn't play, I think Juggernaut came up against Chile in a quarter, and... Uh, they poked the bear. Uh, they made a mistake of getting Tom fired up. I think yep. uh, Juggernaut absolutely had it on their own kind of terms. Got Tom fired up and, uh, yeah, the rest, as they say, is history. Tom uh, went absolutely bunter yep. and uh, pretty much pulled uh, Chile over the line single-handedly. Yep. So it's been keep Tom happy, I think, is the message from Juggernaut. Yeah. Don't give him anything to get fired up about. All Chile, have, Chile have undergone a massive rebuild in recent years. So last year they were at uh, Division 2. They didn't qualify for Division 1. But plenty of uh, plenty of young talent on this team. And, um, yeah, again, we said getting that first quarterfinal burst since 2017. Pentland to Wood. Lady shot over the top to White. Chile also running with a horizontal set. Caston losing yards. The cut's coming towards him now. Oh, he's got it. This time, that's Paolo with the run through intercept. Just a miscommunication on the yeah. throw. There was a, he, he finished his cut and started cutting out, but the throw had already gone. Strong Liu. Heads of state stuck very deep here, Simon. Yeah. Really want to attack that break side. Strong urging his defenders out of that side. Ramadan, he's got Summers at the top. Yeah, those, oh, they're just so desperately looking for that high side, Andy, that they're sort of forgetting about the low side. Yeah. Trong. You can see Caleb trying to drag the stack shorter. Yeah. It works now. Palais has the hammer option. Doesn't throw it. Instead to his uh, South, Afri uh, South Australian. <laughs> South African, maybe. <laughs> South Australian compatriot in 30, and that's the first break to uh, Melbourne Juggernaut. Yep. As we said, first defensive break. It's, it's not necessarily going to be a game. I know it's a cliche we used yesterday, but the uh, it's not so much a game to 15 as to who can get the most 
defensive conversions. Yeah, Chili Stack was way too deep, and so it was fairly obvious to Juggernaut that they were only going to take the unders, and so when Harrison White had turned and gone deep, it yep. was just a nice little soft throw there. Good work by Summers to keep their deep defense busy too. He's always a tall threat at the back, so... Well, Paolo half thought about that. You could see he almost kind of half faked the hammer. Yeah, Summers dropped back, and then, yeah, it forced the defense just to open that space, and Rabadon just attacked it. That's a disc golfer's throw, that one, by the way. The open stance backhand. The dad backhand, yep. That's a, a putt. Do they call it a putt in yeah, disc golf? Even sort of the mid-ranger. Yeah, like tw 20 yep. metres out. Yep. So 2-0 to Juggernaut. You can see Coach Kieran Hudson out there barking instructions. And we've got some Melbourne Phoenix players, fresh from Division Two Nationals next weekend, made the trek up the Western Freeway to come support their yeah. team. So Kieran, he's... Extensive coaching experience in Europe. He's uh, been with the Irish he national team and Irish clubs Irish. team. He's yeah. had some time in Italy as well. And we'll do our best to uh, bring you scores from the other quarters, and we'll tell you what those quarters are shortly. Whatever's happening on the Fishwick field, they uh, something good happened. They've just all gone absolutely nuts. So maybe a Callahan, as we see heads of state start to apply the pressure on Chile with Tom with the disc. Regaki winds up, and that, again, that's just going to keep the defence on their toes. So Wood. Lots of crowd in around him. They've opened Top's up Kelly. Now. Good switch from Paolo. Wants Caston. He's, they really want to just keep pushing it up the line. Finally let out of pressure to Lapari. Lapari through a, the middle of the Caston. There's a contested stall here. That Yeah, that it felt did, like a long time. It did. There was a, that break was excellent from, from Michael to Lapari. Yeah, they weren't really... Kelly wasn't really looking to move it back to the middle. And so Juggernaut were able to close up on that sideline space and finally left Lapari free. <coughs> okay, so this is one of the four quarterfinals. Uh, on the other fields, we've got Ellipsis versus a Sunder, Sunder team. Dice. Yep, Sublime versus Sunder Slice and is the other quarterfinal on this side of the bracket. And on the other side, we have Fishwick versus Manly. First quarterfinal for Manly in yep. just about 20 years, I reckon. Well, and, I mean, uh, you, you, know, you talk about, you know, Chile's resurgence. Yeah. Coming from Div 2, Manly exactly the same. Div yep. 2 Nats a couple of years back. Now, not only at uh, Nats, but in a quarterfinal. And then Sunder Dice versus Ellipsis. That's happening mm -hmm. not far from us. We'll keep half an eye on it. But in the meantime, contestants stall out. So Summer's on the mark. So... Kelly's got one look at this. He'll probably look at Lapari again, but he's gone on the hark. It's Paolo versus Regaki. Plenty of numbers getting underneath it, though. Paolo gets up. Regaki gets up. And I think that Lockie Eichner got the final hand on that one ahead of Turner. Paolo knew that it was position or bust. Yeah. He knew if he didn't have front spot there, yeah. he got in front of Tom. And went early, too. Went meant, yeah, and that was the other thing. You've yeah. got to go early, even if you don't get it. Because you know Tom will, uh, will gobble it up high. So, well done from Ben. Yeah, it actually wrong-footed Rigaki in the end. Yeah. He sort of went a step earlier than he wanted to, so he didn't get a clear leap. But well, he's a chunky boy, yeah. Palais, right? Like, so he's, he yeah. can use the body. Leo's going to have to go. Loose throw there from Trong. So, Chile get us another go at this one. Right on the sideline, about 15 from goal. I wouldn't mind seeing Osmond get amongst it a little bit more. I know he's playing almost like a sacrificial role, yeah. being out wide, but he can be a force. He'll be a target. Uh, Gak is looking only at him at yeah, the moment. Uh, yeah. Hammer over the top. He's found Turner. Nice work from Tom. Looking to be aggressive. Yeah. I did think, I thought the same thing. I thought that was going Aussie over the back break side. Yeah. It was... Um, yeah, Juggernaut really just closed in on that front corner, not letting up an easy one. So it forced, in a way, it forced the over the top, but very few players are going to have that over the top throw that is as reliable as a backhand. So, so 2 1 the score. Juggernaut still had the break advantage, so they're receiving this pull. And so we get a first. Get a look at the defensive line here from Hot Chili. We've got Rigaki, Miller, Pupko, Turner, Kelly, I think it's Huang, and Blisa. No, that's um, six is uh, Evans. Ah. And that's, <coughs> pardon me, Mark Evans's brother. 
you can tell because he's uh, pretty happy with himself. Ah, I see. Has not met a mirror that he didn't like, kind of thing. Okay. And has been playing very well. He's Tom's puppy. So when if ah, you, if you yes. see a turn here, Tom's picking it up. He sends Evans deep. Now that I've got a good look at Evans, I wonder how I missed that. I, I was I, yeah. Well, I yeah, okay. No, I get that. So I think that was a um, an offside, Tom. Offside call, yeah. It looked like it was, would have been landing deep, so probably a good let out for Juggernaut there that they were a bit too eager on the line. So, of course, offside is when defence has crossed the line before the pull's gone up. Uh, offence had the choice to signal it. Yep. And uh, given where the pool was going to land, they've taken they've taken the easy brick. So a zone look from Chile here, Bath, Castriano, and Hamrickson. Give it up about back. ten metres. Yeah, they've settled straight into a match. Philip. Bar's gone. Transition. Bar's gone. One. Castriano, McDonald. Lots of cuts going away from him. He's got his eyes for Della. Can't find him, Sweeney. No further progress on where they start. There's the inside shot. Della winds up the backhand, goes lateral to McDonald. Unusually composed from Tom. Sweeney. That'll be a foul. A foul call. He's really <laughs> aggressive on those around pivots, Sweeney, and yeah. Lees is an aggressive mark, so... Uh, we are aware from earlier in the tournament we will be keeping a Mitch Field points count. We're currently on zero, but we uh, <laughs> appreciate the feedback coming through to the chat. We'll continue to feed it through to Chile leadership. Well, uh, pick call. I wonder why Bar was free. Cut through, cutting through the stack. It's just poor, poor well, and tidy offense. You know, that's why it. you don't go put a handler in the stack. Go, yep. Get back to handling, Seb. It's interesting to see him playing a bit downfield more. The addition of people like Sweeney really helps like, yeah. unlock him from that handler position that he's been uh, playing for so many years. McDonald. There he is. Bah, he's got Philip free. Another open second stance backhand. Another dad backhand. <laughs> They've been practicing. And so an offensive hold for Juggernaut. That was Bar finding Josh Phillip in the end zone. No win to speak of yet this morning, Andy. Oh, um, really? It'll be on the way. Uh, no frost or dew on the ground this morning. Usually a good sign that the wind is taking care of that evaporation. And yes. just as I spoke, just as I spoke it, we, I've spoken into existence. Said it yesterday, mate. I don't know it yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know the I know the city, man. I know the city. So slight right to left, maybe 10k an hour. Throw us breeze. Throw us breeze. So it'll be enough. It'll be enough just to have throwers take an extra care. They might not hug it from 60 meters out. It might wait till they're about halfway. But it's enough just to keep the disc sitting in the air. But you don't want to keep the disc. You don't want to put the disc high in the air. This kind of breeze, Andy. No, no, certainly not. And and both teams with some really tall lines. So that's where you get kind of six players underneath it. Anything that sits up, they're going to charge down. Looks like uh, Lipsis have jumped out to a 3-1 lead against Sunder. Wow. So we've got... You saw the replay of that offside. It was uh, fairly evident. So defensively, we've got LA. We've got Eichner. Is that Thorpe, Thorpe. Rabadan, Savannadam, Summers, Tronk. Plenty of run on this line, so... I just Big, loopy, wide pull. Going to put Chile in their own end zone. And Rabadan's got to be there for the first pass. Good rundown. Wood. Looks zony. It's the one-two from Osmond. Nice break. They'll be transitioning to match, I think, in the next pass or two. French can't find anyone backwards to Pentland. It's transitioned. Nice break. Lapari. Full stretch. Looking in more, but everyone's heading away from him. Caston. Osmond. He's got Pendleton long. Goes for Caston. Big bid there. Wood pinned on that high sideline now. They'll be looking central. It's got Lapari back. Come on, yeah. Yeah, left very open there, Lapari. So, Jungle's not too worried about the backwards and sideways. Really just 
trying to kill that small ball. Caston off, gets it off wood. He's got both shot, both sides of the end zone to look at. Better flow from Chile this point. Yeah. And Lapari finds Riley Wood for the goal in the end. Good small ball there from Chile. I think really Juggernaut nice were really focusing on shutting down the long game. Yep. And it was just always looking for that front of stack, just for that short, you know, 8 to 10 metre inside look. Loose marking from Juggernaut there. I think just gave him that. Yeah, I, I mean, th that's the adjustment you've got to make is to take away those unders. You don't have, especially when you don't have Tom on, who's one of the big deep threats. If, if that was the case, I'd be okay. Tom's stretching the field, allowing some unders, but uh, just not enough defensive pressures on the, on the shorter throws, as you said. Yeah, it's too busy around the mark. So... It's all well and good for Chile to be putting these O points in, but they need to get one off Juggernaut, off their O line. And it's a fairly strong O line. They don't really rotate these O line positions much, Juggernaut. So it's been the same seven or eight guys playing every offensive point all season. And so just the timing of the cuts seems almost mechanical because they're just so good at anticipating movement. They know each other's favourite throws. They're not afraid to sort of mix up the positions as we saw. We saw Barr drifting downfield. We see Dell dropping up behind the disc. So Duncan to pull. It's a good He's one to put this one. Juggernaut with about 72 to go to goal. Della Castriano. Fairly loose zone is set up here. They've gone to match now. Castriano on the sideline. Bar. Big gainer. Calibiotis. McDonald. Bar. The old head's getting it done. Castellano's gone deep. Now continuing to grind. And Castellano with the big gainer on the other side. Josh Phillips poached because uh, yep. Tom Regaki's playing on him. Tom's trying to take away the backfield yeah. as well. No, no count. There we go. Keep Phillips towards the front of the stack, I think. Might be the, might be the go to neutralise that. I think that's a... It's a pick that'll pick stay. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> Starting to extend the field with their cuts now. Bar, McDonald. Stack's tightened up now. They're keeping that deep space free. They don't want to have too many long throws get picked off. Sweeney. Sweeney and uh, now. Bar both throwing those inside flick up the lines. That's yeah. not easy. It's not easy to throw and no. they're not easy to catch. They're into a breeze as well. Like it's just that added layer of difficulty. They just make they make it look so comfortable though. Calibia has one out in the end zone. Sweeney can't find a clear shot to him. Bar. Can I be getting high? What here? happening? What happening? Wow. Retreated back the stack's way too Can deep. Yeah, what happened? Sitting, what happened? Wow. So they cannot take that long shot with him there. Calibiotis finds McDonald in the middle. Retreated back the stack's way too Can deep. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, what what happened? Wow. Wow. They cannot take that long shot with him right there. Right on the line. Back to McDonald. Finds McDonald in the middle. Retreated back the stack's Great. way too deep. Yeah, what yeah, happened? Yeah, what happened? Wow. Wow. Phillip. He knew that the regain was going to get the back, so just he had to provide options up front. Can't be getting high. What happening? What happening? Wow. The man gets open. Yeah. Yeah. So 4-2 to Juggernaut. And as you can hear through our microphones, that uh, that wind has arrived. Simon, yeah. you called it. Mm -hmm. Or you, rather, you said it wasn't here. And then on cue. It's right, very much very much directly right to left today. Yeah. So we're seeing most goals going into the breeze. And I think this... We're not. I don't feel we're really out of first gear yet this game. I think... Uh, We'll give it probably two more points of some uh, nice upwind discipline. Oh, and then I think that the shots will be coming yeah, right to left pretty I mean, soon. You, you said something similar in the uh, the last pool play, open pool play game of the day between uh, Sunder and Ellipsis. You kind of said that both teams will ease their way into it, uh, and then you know we ended up seeing a pretty uh, a pretty intense finish to that game. Uh, Sunder on Universe taking it out. <sighs> This hot chocolate's been here since I got here, and I don't know whose it is. How much longer until I'm allowed to drink it? 
might be rest. Think it might be one of our think it might be one of our hard working crews who've got their hands busy, Andrew. We're just sitting here yapping. I'm set I'm setting the timer. <laughs> Five minutes and then I'm having it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Eighteen minutes in, so twenty three minutes in, it's all yours. Power lay. Big loopy pull, making it hard to catch. So Wood's going to let it hit the ground, get it on the bounce. Nice. Clean take. Caston, Pentland. Had a good tournament, uh, Jasper. Seen a few of his games. There he is. Osmond. Interesting the pattern in which they look for options. We'll talk about that after this goal. This count be getting high here. Yeah. We're losing a bit of field position there. Both Osmond's teams gone deep. Both teams stacking so deep. Yeah. Probably too deep, Simon. Like they've pushed them back at, right into their end zone now. Jasper's and, gone. And the wind's got up enough of the throws to, to think about those shots. Usually on a still day, they would absolutely take them. 100%. Nice Not switch many unders now. coming. Pickard. Hits that break side. Great lead. He passed Lapari. He's going to have to go. He's got it comfortably. Nice work. First contact was inbounds. Oh, Liu had a sniff at that one. And yeah, Osmond's wide pivot just caused a bit of a, uh, wreaked a bit of havoc on Eichner and Powell coming through. So uncontested foul there. Flying everywhere. Sorry, accepted foul there. So we have a look at this replay from Lepari. He, he decided meters Make ago safe. that yep. he's going. Yeah. And got, got one hand underneath it. He didn't just go for the rim catch. Nice safe clap catch. Good form. 25 from goal now. Wood, centre field. Damn, so deep. No reset. Someone's going to have to come towards him. Juggernaut got these unders covered. Let out there with Kasten getting the short gainer. Yeah, lucky just... Big, uh, loopy, wide shot. Pentland stopped. Savannah Dams has gone through, made sure of it. He's told his teammates to calm down as he walks back to the disc. He was the full 10 count. He was telling himself to calm he down. He was telling well, himself <laughs> to calm down. Trong up the line. Beautiful lefty flick. Look at that. Plenty of float on that. Again, Summers has gone deep and wide, drawing the deep defender out, opening up under space for his teammates. Pale out the line. Summers got to come Summers towards Strong. Great defense there by Chelly. Yeah, you call it. French peeled off uh, Summers. Yeah. Summers had the hand up. It needs to be more aggressive to go, hey, I'm, I'm poached. I don't have a player on me. Yeah. Um, uh, so a good poach in the end. I'd like to see Summers start attacking the unders rather than just sitting out the back. Yeah, it's a bit of a... Um, a sacrificial role, similar yeah. to what we were talking about with Aussie. So we see a bit of a chat. I think maybe a travel call, perhaps somewhere. I think it was resetting. when I think it was actually when Mikey started the count. Ah, too Just early. It up. Got a bit of a straight up mark, so forcing Chile to go lateral. Ooh, good throw. Chile working on that high side pick up. Loses his footing, back on his feet. This is better that second down. Another call. Do not tell me Leo caught a travel on that. <laughs> well, I don't think it was a travel because then it wouldn't have been a stop. It. Oh, yeah. He's got <laughs> It was, okay. That's cruel, man. That's cruel. Yeah. Better flow in this um, in this possession Much for Chile. Much better Chewy. flow. Now, they get off the sideline. They can't keep hanging it around there. Caster's looking in board. He's got French wide. He goes down the line to Pentland, who was just left open. Paolo and Aussie are making friends. A fair bit of uh, contact. Yeah. There we go. French has been Great left throw. wide open for that lateral. Goes to Lapari. <laughs> Huge D from 30. Ramadan with that pressure. Never stopped chasing. He's, he's tender. He's sore. He's going off. Yep. Why not? Done your job, young blood. Yep. Threw everything at that one. So I, I was just going to say... Kasten moving they've off got the, well. They've got the turn. And so guess who's strutting towards the disc? One of the best stop this candles in the country. Imagine that coming on. You've uh, finally got the turn. It's a bit arrogant, to be honest. Uh, from <laughs> I don't know if he asked his captain if he should be going, but... Oh, absolutely not. No, no. no smug. Great bid. Great D from 30. I think Rabideau had only had just sort of... had barely got the signal up. And Bars... They're going to burn one. Bars come on just to call the time out. That's... Yeah. <laughs> the smugness. Look at him. He'll sub off again now. Yeah. All right, we will take a short break. Uh, I'm going to go listen to the Heads of State uh, Mob and Juggernaut line. We'll be back on the other side.
We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Mindful moments, learning ancient traditions, golden hours spent pressing pause on time, afternoons wild away absorbing wisdom, and treasure hunts that never disappoint. Whatever brings you to Ballarat, you'll always return remade. Back from the timeout and thank you to the city of Ballarat for sponsoring this event, hosting Absolutely. a great event. You can see on the ad there, you can find your own gold in Ballarat, Andy. That's clever because the, the gold rush was, was here. Yeah. That was the ad, that was all my work. <laughs> <laughs> You've missed your calling. You, uh, sports administration is, uh, is wasted on you. You need to go into ad land, mate. Okay, so out of the timeout, Seb just said, okay, you owe you defensive dogs. Watch my offensive uh, swag. Made it all about him. Yeah. Chile have just really killed those underlooks, so they've gone wide. Eichner. Your man. Summers. Here we go. Now he's attacking the unders. He's got a booming big throw, Summers, but he's just going to keep it in the pocket for now. Trong. That's very disciplined because Paolo did have separation, yeah. but Aussie is matchup. So. And you know what? If their small ball like this is working, you don't really have that same amount of pressure. Game possession, lots of touches, not many metres gained at the moment, but they'll be well let out shortly. Trongs, bar's gone deep, so is Eichner. Too much on that one. Well, see, I think what happened there, I think that was actually miscommunication because mm. Bar went deep, saw Eichner also deep. He was, probably shouldn't have been there. That yep. was Seb's space by that point. I think that throw was actually to Seb, but he bailed out of the cut. Right, OK. It was... It's a... How so you can get sometimes when an O-line comes over to D is just that D's, it goes from 100% chemistry down to like 95, and sometimes that's just enough. Yeah. Um, quick score check from one of the other quarterfinals, Ellipsis up 4-3 on Sunder Dice. Okay, so they pulled one back. They pulled one back. Uh, and a quick update on the hot chocolate as requested. Uh, it's been acquired. Oh, it's been acquired by young Felix. Ulti TV's youngest staff member. I thought Wood might cheap. have been calling a timeout there for a moment, but he's just checking the checking the condition of the disc after it barreled into the fence. Nice little break back in. Lapari's taking the shot, looking for Pickard. Needs just maybe three feet more air underneath that one. Yeah, I mean the shot was right. Yeah. The option was right. Lapari was actually completely poached. Uh, Carlip was sitting in the lane. Yeah. Very happy for Lapari to get it. So you probably don't want to give a player like Lapari too many of those looks. Because no. you, you reckon more often than not, he'll he'll have that connect. What is the temperature? Good question. I reckon about 10 degrees. What do you think? Not Tom? even. Uh, Nine degrees. Nine degrees. Liu. Loopy one for Ike. No, Ike has got Summers charging deep. Bar. Easy reset. Swing to Liu. He's got Paolo high side. I like Eichner's cutting. He just needs to get under a bit. He's sitting yeah, a bit too deep. deep. Break shot. Savannah down. Center field. Floats one out to Liu. Who they're just sort of, they're really worried about the deep shot now, Shelley. So they're sitting too deep, giving plenty of easy unders. Bar. Well, all, all of their heads, uh, the uh, juggernaut players are cutting deep. Yeah. All of them have cut yeah. deep at a separate point in this uh, in this point. Really spreading the field now, Savannah down. Yeah. 15 from goal, Trong right on the doorstep now in the corner. Couple little fakes, Eichner. Just left to go under by Turner there, trusted his mark a bit too much and just... Defence just got a little bit too busy there. Yeah. Just stick to your player, focus on the fundamentals, put pressure on everything. And Juggernaut get a second defensive break to take a 5-2 lead. Well, I just think there was nothing we could... Uh Really, that, sorry, nothing Chile could do because they're 
all those players continued to stream deep. So they knew that the under was a threat, but also they had to respect the deep threat. Yeah. So uh, Simon brought us the, uh, the update. It's now 3-5 with Ellipsis up two breaks against Sunder Slice. Slice? Uh, dice. 50-50 shot. Didn't yep. get it. Anyway, moving on. I'm just keeping... The other two quarterfinals, they're about 300 metres away, so we don't really have eyes on them. We will see what we can do about... I might try picking the volunteer group chat and see what happens. But another timeout call. This time, you'd imagine by Chile. And so we see there's two breaks. Five turns so far from Hot Chile. Um... Three from Juggernaut, so that's the difference at the moment. Just those two extra turns, yeah. and also Juggernaut's clean holds. Yeah. They've converted two out of their four break chances, but O from three for Chile. So they've had their opportunity. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the the concept around. Like sometimes I think it becomes a bit of a distraction that you've got O lines and D lines. So yeah. teams that play uh, or players that play predominantly offense and players that play predominantly defense. However. If your defense gets the block, you're playing offense, and yeah. so you know getting the block is is great, but it's only ever half the job. So yeah. you know, Chile's focus from their from their D line, I'll be bringing their D line in and going, hey, we're getting the chances. We've got had three looks in six points. Yeah, we've got to convert them. And what you'd usually typically do in your lead up tournaments is you'd put your D line out there to play pull receptions, mm. get them playing O reps at a at a game game standard. To say that when they do get the turns at the at the pointy end of the season, they they're can a lot put more them comfortable. One hundred percent. Mitchfield update: We believe he is here. We believe he is well. He has been sighted. Not just not on the actual pitch. Like Nichols, there, this golfer from Geelong. Quick look at him on the screen. That's. Uh, the championship standard disc golf course here at Victoria Park, and with the Victorian Open next weekend, there's a lot of disc golfers up here this weekend getting practice in. So I, Dan Rule's uh, sta uh, Bucks party was at this um, yeah this uh, disc golf. It's the only way you're going to get me playing disc golf. <laughs> I believe Ruben Berg was up here. I think he's an over oh, 40s yeah. state yeah. champion. Yeah, just he's crushing up here. Yeah. So Regaki. Paul landed out of bounds, yeah, so a bit, a he gets a, a centre field 44 from goalies. Look, he's eyed up Osman going deep, but Wilson's got that taken care of. Osman comes under, but cut off by Lapari. Lapari again unguarded with the throw. Finds Osman. This is better. Osman to Blisa, to Wood. He's got Turner attacking that front quarter. A much, much, much cleaner offence by Chile there. Outside of the small ball discipline red zone point that they played, that's yeah. probably their smoothest flowing offence. It's um, Juggernaut do very well at containing, uh, containing options if the disc is static. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if the disc is in, on the move. Yep. Pat Thorpe on that point. We uh, saw a shot of him early. Um, top of screen there. It kind of reminds you of like, you know, when pirates would wear like long johns back in the or in the in the old west. That's kind of the <laughs> look that he's rolling with at the moment. It's. I wouldn't say it's great. There he is. Back of screen. Yep. Ballarat local, Pat, so understands the importance of layers. I think they're baseball pants, are they? I think they're skins. Um, and I don't think we want to get too much oh, of a close-up right. because it doesn't leave too much yeah, to the imagination. Anyway, moving on. Boy's been on the weights. Oh, he's... Uh, Paddy yeah. has uh, had a phenomenal transformation. He was, uh, I think, by his own admission, carrying a bit back in the day, and now he's absolutely cut. Yep. Granite. To see the juggernaut offensive line, Sweeney, McDonald, Hemricks and Barr, Della, Castriano, Caliviotis. Now Chile's defensive unit. We've got Duncan, Miller, Kelly, Turner, White, Regaki, Lisa. Regaki now getting involved. He'll play most points for a while. This is clutch pull. Floaty back in their own end zone. Defense is there for the first pass. Hemrickson. Pops it up. They've isolated Della one out in the middle. Switch got called. Demixon's gone deep and a foul's been called. Della was looking for that around backhand to McDonald. So I think that's contention. Miller might be saying, look, I was just there yeah. already. Yeah. But I think both players were on the move, as we said in the replay. So I think it'll be... 
yeah, accepted. Stall count where he says to zero. Calibiotis free as a bird in the middle there. Ooh. He doubles back. <laughs> Caught. Duncan unaware there. Della, 32 from goal. Calibiotis has to go, gets low for a Kelly bid for that one. Easy tough. Easy tough. Lots of defense, taking Good the tight man. throws. Hemrickson finds room up the sideline. Looking to attack the corner. Very messy. Very, yeah. Yeah, yeah. pick called. Yeah. Unsurprising. Well, so. well, what else are you going to see? Yeah, the, the offense and a little bit of a benefit, silver lining for, head to, uh, for Juggernaut. Is yeah. They can rearrange and go, okay, this is a mess. They'll try and isolate one of the hands, probably Sweeney there in the front corner. There we go. Takes a bit of discipline in the stack. Just to, once you're in the end zone, you get ice for that goal, but you absolutely need to to hang back. Yep, and engage your defender so they don't go and do something that you won't like. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a, some sort of call there, like off that stoppage, just to say, everyone get out. This is Podge's space. Yep. So, it's Melbourne Juggernaut up 6-3. Mirror image of the score over at the Ellipsis uh, Sunday game. 6-3 over there as well. 6-3. Chile, absolutely not out of this. They they can get on a defensive roll. We've seen them do that this weekend. Uh, we saw them do it against Manly. Yep. Um, we've seen them do it at lead-up tournaments. So it's not. And they're going to be a lot more confident playing against a familiar opponent. Like they've played, obviously, been the local rivals. They've played juggernaut a lot, so they've got that confidence. We know we know these guys. We know how they play. So yeah, yeah. I think. And, and look, it'll, I'm sure, remain a, a clean game, a spirited game, a, an intense game. But the killer instincts will start to come out. I think that, you know, it'll set in that this is a knock, This is the knockout stage, okay? So quarterfinals after this, if you're knocked out, you go into placing games. Uh, I think some of that intensity and, uh, and heat will come in the second half. So if they can stay in touch. If, if they go 8-3 yeah. down, yep, uh, maybe different. you start thinking about... Just keep putting in the offensive points. Buy your defense some time. Oh, Paolo's put that long and floaty, and that is going to land in Lake Wendore. That's, that's going that to be in the, in the disc golf course. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing tee shot on the uh, hole five, I believe. <laughs> but yeah, not so much as a... When you've, when you've only got 37 metres of width to land in, it can be tricky. Yeah, there we go. Nowhere to hide, Ben. Well done, Mike. Keep him accountable. So Riley Wood will bring it into play. 44 from goal centre field. A lot of pointing and talking from Juggernaut. I think they're locking on just to a match. Look. Well done, Rowan. Yeah, good coverage. White. Big gain it to Osmond. Osmond's, Osmond's got, French. got French. Deep, he's put it up. Ramadan's got the match up. Well done. That was just a good match up pick out by yep. Chile. Yep. Ramadan, like for all his good under, undercut defense he gives up about a foot in height to james french oh so. and a, yeah and then some and the he, throw was okay it wasn't yeah. like elite but like you say ozzy would have looked at that and said that's good enough yeah enough air under it just to yeah. put it to french's advantage but not floaty enough that other defenders could get there like you couldn't have asked for a better throw really james french coming from the tom Regaki school of deep cutting in which you point in the air yeah, bit of Nick Rewalt. Put it up there. There's no defense up there, mate. Thanks for the love on the stats. And also, thank you just seeing that, uh, that replay with our second camera. That second camera being uh, donated by Ulti TV or provided at no charge. Uh, as a thank you to all the support that uh, the Australian Ultimate community have, uh, have shown. I don't know if donated's the right term. I'll find the right uh, the right word. Upgraded. Upgraded. Upgrade. Thanks, Mike. Upgraded. <laughs> Free upgrades. Free upgrade. Business class. Wouldn't mind one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Been a while since I've seen one of them, Simon. <laughs> Quite used to Think, flying up the pointy end. I was going to so. say, things going well in your career. 6-4 <laughs> yeah. on, uh, on the yeah. other ground. So, again, mirror image. <laughs> Once we get to half, we'll see what we can do about getting score updates from the other quarters. They're just a bit too far away for us to do much about at the moment. So, Sweeney to feel the pull. Everyone's right, stuck behind the disc for some reason. They've isolated Philip Della McDonald downfield. McDonald's gone. Ooh, great. Oh, that was Turner's uh, work on the mark. I think they yeah. stopped that. Stuck Mate, Castiano, rethink it. 
Stuck the foot out. Phillip gone deep now. Della's going to have to go. Kelly right in his hips. Jeez, Kelly's been close to a couple today. Yeah. Phillip gets the under now. McDonald, Sweeney, Castriano's deep one out. Bar's going. Phillip's going. Forcing Chile to defend the entire field here. So, picks called. As you can see, there's not much action happening in frame at the moment. We're having to zoom out wide to capture everyone. Nearest cutter to... Nearest cutter to Hemrix is about 25 metres downfield of him. So, he's only going to have ice for Sweeney. And Blees has got the one-on-one -on -one job for him. So... Regaki's taken over the McDonald matchup, so. Kelly again. Kelly again with Kelly right on him. How many more times I can get away with that one? Oh, slays it through under the arms of Pupko, finding Barr. Barr to McDonald. Phillip. With Evans hot on his tail. Chile really stepped up their defense. No easy passes anymore. McDonald. All throws being contested, and you're seeing that means Juggernaut just taking the extra second to make sure that that's the right option. Yeah. Sweeney. Needed the someone to break. No there. Yeah. Yeah. McDonald. How many cuts coming, Philip? They've found that break side now. Bar inside shot to Della. Much, much, much better, tighter defense yeah. from Chile there. Forcing, yeah. putting, putting heat on everything. I felt for Michael Kelly at that point because oh, he had two or three where he was right on his uh, hammer and then that last point, the goal, uh, Tommy was all on his own on the uh, break side. And the throws are really back and Della in. Like they're, even though Kelly's you know, only yeah. half a step behind him on the cut, they're still just putting it out to him anyway and just backing him in. As we see, yeah, just that, that throw's not going to bother Seb. Enough of a fake to make Evans come right across. Yeah. So he took away the easy backhand, but... If you do that, you give up the forehand shot and... Della very happy with that one. Let's us know about it. I think that's his first goal today, so... So, defensive line. Paolo with pulling responsibilities again. I like that they've backed him in, Andy. If I was coach, I would have... Oh, no way! I would have said... Mate, Thorpe, this one's yours. Dish. You're lucky you're staying on the field. <laughs> Speaking of, that. we might be seeing our first uh, in-season or even in-game trade. Um, the Mudlarks have put an offer forward to uh, trade Mitch Field from Chile, not currently playing, not currently on the field. Uh, back to the Mudlarks. So who are they? Who are they, who are they giving? Chile? Well, I want to know right now. They've <laughs> offered a uh, back at a, a packet of uh, draft, low-end draft picks. Yeah, rounds three and four. Wood, he's gone too much on that one. Spent it before he earned it. Yeah, just trying to do a little bit too much, you feel. Yep, Liu. Off Trong. Frey getting busy. Trong up the line. He's got a couple of defenders there. That means someone's loose on the top side. Good, set, a good uh, peel off from Lapari. Everyone tired of the corner. Chili going for everything. Lapari doing work on defense. Osmond on the mark now. Oh, nice, easy little one too. Another dad backhand. Eichner with, I think, his second goal. Gives it a little bit of action too. Yep. The turn coming there was a, it was a drop by Riley Wood. So he got the... They were moving it just a bit too quickly against the zone. We saw before that they had that uh, smooth offense, but there is a difference between smooth and fast end. Yeah, yeah, and you saw just when they, you kind of go past that that threshold a bit that wasn't yeah. spent before you've earned it kind of thing so I think that is uh, I think that's that is half. that's 8-4 uh, 8-4 yeah so Trong with the final throw there he did a lot of work getting a lot of give goes but that nice double back move we see this one here yeah, but watch he pushes Ozzy on, onto his back of his feet. So yep. Ozzy moves right around. And so Trong knew straight away yep. he had the separation. That's really clever work. He, um, and we spoke about this yesterday. Sometimes you've just got to wait for the defense to make their decision. Yes. And then you can smoke them. React on And so he, moved, he goes, right, well, Ozzy, you've stepped right off me. I'm going to run the other way because I've already got two meters of separation. Yep. 
All right. Half time. We're going to take a break. We'll just have a quick look at the stats. So we see zero from five on the break chances. That's, that's, the, that's the difference. That's yeah. the biggest difference at the moment. They've got six turns, and Jugger have put in three of them for goals. So that's where the difference is. And also just five clean holds for Juggernaut as well. They probably, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, look, uh, I think that's Juggernaut 100%. not not always known for being the cleanest no. offensive team. Um, probably not. Especially at the start of games. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Um, probably more known for their their defensive yeah. uh, intensity, particularly their defensive leadership over the years. A yeah. couple of really uh, inspira uh, inspirational D captains. All right, I'm going to back myself in to make the 700-meter uh, round trip to the other quarterfinals during this halftime break and get a score update. But we're going to take a break, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes with the second half. And as we prepare for the second half, I'm joined by one of the uh, captains of Melbourne Juggernaut, Tony Castrigano. Tony, pretty decent first half. What was the message uh, from the leadership at halftime? Uh, just to keep working hard. Um, we're facing a great team. 
they're all great teams at this stage of the tournament. So um, the defensive pressure has been sensational. We just have to keep that going. Offensively, we just keep need to need to keep working hard with our legs. Um, just keep sharing the ball around and uh, same again, basically. Yeah. Was there any instruction for Pat Thorpe to put on shorts? Uh, look, I've tried, and as you know, Andrew, uh, as a captain, you've got to pick your battles sometimes, yeah. and uh, that's one I'm losing. Well, he's just had a spectacular run down on the pool. We'll let you go and uh, support the team. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> we'll get through this point, and I'll give you the updates. Pentland, Caston, Lapari. Juggernaut switching the force, they're sort of forcing Oh, he missed his middle. Callahan. Calvin do. Fingertips on it. Jeez, you'd hope they score this. Oh, you'd want to. Because that could have been a Callahan. So Thorpe to pick up the disc on the goal line. Who are they? The last side, someone probably Carl at the U. Oh, they've back out, they've back do in. Oh, this is a mess by the backfield. He's put that too much. Wilson's run underneath it. Wood, he's got. A couple of deep looks. Takes a long time to look at him. Caston. He's got Osmond going deep with the Palais matchup. Puts the backhand shot. Don't know about that choice. The forehand would have been to Osmond's advantage, yeah. but the backhand meant that he had to double back and Palais had the positional advantage. So, other quarterfinals. Fishick up 9-4 on Manly. And Sunder Slice eight five over Sublime. Chile just just took half eight four yep. against Sunder Dice. That wind kicking up. The uh, women's pre quarters. We've had an update. Chaos are up seven four on Zig Theory. Of course, that's to make the quarterfinals of the women's bracket. And we're back to this game. Liu Wilson Liu. Big crossfield shot to Paolo. And that, that shot just releases all the pressure that Chile yeah. have been working so hard to build. Yeah. And good positioning from Paolo. Paolo having a chat to Pat as if they're just kind of having a throw in the park. Yeah. You, you'll have a stall on, Ben. Again, Chile, they've always got a player sit deep, usually Osmond or Fresh. And so there's it's going to be free cuts on the under. But Paolo's just wound up. He's gone. He's picked out Summers. Perfect. Summers has got a couple there. Perfect. That's the backhand shot you want yep. to a high. You've got to put it high, put it in the air. Because that way the defender's running backwards and your card is running onto it. So, All right. So who started an offense? I was too busy running back. That was... I'm pretty was sure that, that was break? a break. That was a break, yeah. break? All right, so we've got uh, first trade offer is Joshi Phillip. Said he'd go to Chile. How Mitchfield. Many, how many uh, years they I wouldn't offering? take that, yeah. yeah. No, I wouldn't take that. One year contract, maybe. They're offering three. Uh, Louis Broad for Mitchfield. Mm, Broad has oh. played for Chile before. I'd be putting him through a couple of medicals, if you know what I mean. Just a few tests. <laughs> so, Tian and Summers with the goal there. So, we get another look at this throw. He's just. Looped up the, we just waited for the defender to come across, looped up the big backhand, and yeah, Summers just had that one all day. I mean, unfortunately, because they didn't score, we couldn't really get around Kelvin Dew's um, yeah. D. Yep. Borderline Callahan. Instead, they turned it over, and then they had to work it the whole way up, but did so successfully, in no small part, to uh, Paolo's big put. Good Summer. for Chile to have two there, though. Yeah. Summers, the local lad. Ballarat born, bred. A, a few players President. from uh, yep. from Juggernaut, uh, McDonald, Castrogano. Yep. Does Dylan Taylor count? Is he up this way? Where are we? Where are we? Okay, close enough. They're two different places. West. I know, I know west crossing side. the west gate. I know crossing the west gate for you means you're in Narnia, but yeah, I don't often do it unless I need things. to. Another update for the women's bracket in a close one. Fuse currently up six five on Spicy Chili. So those women's games, the two winners will make head into the quarterfinal brackets this morning. Two losers will be done for the weekend. They'll play off for ninth and tenth. Palais pulled his head in with the uh, pulls. Regaki to Kelly. Plenty of under options now. Regaki winds up. He wants Miller out deep. Kasson will probably head deep at some point too. Turner. Evans drifting out. 
Millers come behind the disc. Great shot. Trong had to go up that one. Millers had a couple of goes at it. <laughs> Reels it in. That's going to go. Yeah. Oh. Turner's gone deep. Someone's going to be poached because they had to send double coverage back. Rigaki's standing at the back, pointing. Drawing plenty of focus. The oh. shot's gone to Kelly. But you can feel the intensity. Yeah. Simon, you were talking about when we're going to start seeing it ratchet up. The we're barometer, definitely. the man on screen yeah. now, that's the one that you watch. Once he starts getting busy, he's going to put... Uh, what is this stack? Why are they all 30 metres away from the thrower? Yeah. They need to fix this, otherwise it's a guaranteed turn. Oh, Big Turner, bid. just about make sure of it. Ramadan. Trong, he's got Dykes streaking to the end zone. Now yeah, Menzies providing the deep look. Dykes with the easy under. Spots his mate, Hamish Menzies, he's put it too long. Good um, good cutting uh, effort by yeah. both of those, both younger players, I think in their first year of Jugger. Uh, certainly got Leo's. Leo's, maybe. I think might be Hamish's second. second. Good, uh, good cutting intensity and an excellent bid uh, earlier in the point. Didn't come off from Chile. So Duncan to pick up the disc. Got big, big throwers on this uh, line. So we can see Ragaki far right there. He'll start from the back. He'll maybe have one or two looks deep, but we'll eventually drift back under. And then we we'll probably might see Kelly be the target. Big loopy shot. Ragaki gets up. Just got kind of dropped on him. Yeah, just Hit him dropped in the on him. Forearm. Strong gets going early. Rabadani. He's got to look at Menzies. Can't get the clean throw out. Looks to reset. Strong. That's a nice throw. Putting in a shift this point, Mikey Strong. Just getting every second pass. Nice little loopy dad backhand to Rabadani. And Men Hamish Menzies. Second the time of asking. Off. Finally gets the goal. He'd been working hard for. And look at his teammates get around him. They know he'd worked hard that point. Yeah. I haven't been playing many points, I think. That might be the first time I've seen Menzies on the field. Well, one point, one stat. Yeah, but yeah, Ramadan, the final throw there after a bit of nice little one-two work from him and Trong. So see that shot from... Great shot from Tom Duncan, but just... I don't know. Rigaki just had someone on his hip, someone on his tail, so yeah. went up with the one-hand shot. Yeah, it was Paolo coming in really aggressively. And the straight line cutting there for Menzies, just got that burst. Caught Kelly and Miller off guard. So timeout called. And... We're still we're chasing updates. I think games are still going all over the place, but we've got some scouts out there at the moment. But so ten four to Chile. I think at some point you could just go. At some point you just need to start putting your own points in. Start putting points on the board. I think they're yep. trying to get too a bit too fancy with their offense. We saw it just before half. They're able to just run it clean just by. Smooth through, just keeping the disc moving. I think as long as they're stationary, it's advantage juggernaut. Yeah. But I mean, if we've uh, learned anything from the first two days, was it Fishwick up 9-3 mm. against uh, Sublime? Yep. And uh, lost that one. So this is a, uh, a sport where you can have runs. You can put a run on and, you know, if you score one or two or three, very quickly the whole tone can shift. Yep. It starts with your offense getting on the board and putting a defence out there. So, meanwhile, Juggernaut's defence stays out there. They have... Yeah, Paolo's benched. Good call. Um, who's going to have pulling duties here? You'd expect P. Thorpe. Yep, this is his hand out there. He's got Wilson, Taylor, Lee, Fion Summers, Tienan Summers, Lockie Eichner. Some big lads out there, Moss. They're get it's preparing for a, preparing for a long go. Uh, yes. Deep shots here from Chile. Yep. They've got Osman. They've got Ward. Kelly. They've got Kelly. They've got French. And even Lapari can, can get up. Yeah. And they've got Pentland out there. He's probably going to take the shot you'd expect. Tao Brown really just sitting on the fence with a go Victoria oh, line. I've heard that and I don't like it. No. <laughs> no I do love it actually. Good pull from Paddy. 
As soon as he puts some pants on, we'll be right. But yep. in the meantime, if he's going to pull like that, where First what you pass want? pass defense, look at that. Oh. Lee really putting the heat on Pentland there. Pentland's winding up. He was looking at Kelly. He's got Osmond under. Juggernaut's done the hardest bit there. They've made him look for the short game. Lapari, Osmond, Pentland. French going deep. Oh. Kelly. Good patience from Chile. And Pellin's doing good. Like, he's winding up the backhand, which is forcing all the defense to sit back on their heels a bit. And it ends up just giving easy unders. Wood. He's gone loopy over the top. Pentland. Jasper Pentland, MVP at that point by yeah. far. Just really controlled the tempo. Like, he, like, as I said, his backhand fakes just make all the defenders take one or two steps back because they know he can put them. And then it just ends up giving a cutter an easy under. See it again. So, yeah, Kelly didn't have a lot happening. Had that let out. I mentioned before I was going to talk about the pattern in which Chile look for um, look for their shots. They they look they look deep early. Then they they don't really look to the break side until late in the count. They look open, open. They look dump, and then they look inside break. So that it's fill cut doesn't like come into the handle up. space. It yeah. just jags out to the open side. But yeah, you can see every player looking at the same pattern, the same timing. We've got the crew from Sport Integrity Australia here on site and uh, providing just education to players on matters that are going to be important to them as the sport grows and matures and hits the big time. So things like uh, actions preventing competition and match fixing, actions preventing uh, any kind of anti-doping breaches. We just don't want to have players inadvertently making breaches there, just not knowing. So there's providing the information and it means where it means this sport's starting to become one of the big dogs, Andy. That we're we're now in the, we're now part of that loop, getting that information and getting that education. That's a really good point. Around you know, a lot of elite athletes, professional athletes, they kind of know what the standards are. Yeah. But like you say, it might, nothing um, untoward. But there might just be something that you're putting in your body that you don't know is on a, a controlled yeah. list or things if, like that. You think you've, I've bought it from a shop? It must be fine. Yeah. Sometimes it's not. Bar with a big breakthrough to there. Castriano oh. getting his step count up. Yeah, I reckon. Back and forth with McDonald. They've gone to match defense now. Bar takes advantage. He was unguarded there for a moment. He's got the backhand look. Good there by Wang to recognize that and get it across Hamrickson. Now it's to be Della. A pick call to pick the stack call. there. So that'll stay with Della. So yesterday we would have seen uh, Alice C shaving her head for a great cure. Uh, sorry, for a great cause. Shave for a cure. Uh, Tom does it for absolutely no reason no at, all, at all, apart from just not being all there. Really. Yeah. Rumor is he's putting the side, he's putting the uh, Mohawk narrower for every victor, for every win this weekend. Hemrickson. Let's hope he ends up bald. Bar. Look at that. Opens up the field for Philip. He's got a good look at Caliviotis. He's got the Regaki match up. Caliviotis getting on the bike. Just forcing Tom to work as much as anything. That's a, that's not just tough cutting because, yeah, he wants to. It's how do I take Tom out of the equation? Great read there by Hamrickson. Thought it was just going to go above Della there. So sat there for the drop down. Good roving work into there's McDonald. It, there's there's everyone stopped for a moment and yeah, he's he's called the goal. Yeah, called the goal. <laughs> he's tried to call. He, he went to poach off, went to yeah. go back, then got picked. But it was Matthew yeah. was like, well, you, you I'm kind of poached I'm off. Standing me. here, mate. I've just sent a comment on the live stream, Andy. I'm going to ban them from that chat. You read it out. <laughs> I do like the uh, Sports Integrity Commission going to Pat Thorpe. <laughs> uh, There'll be questions asked. Tackling the big issues, yeah. Some score updates in the other quarterfinals. We have Sunder Slice up 12-7 now over Sublime Fishwick. Painting out the stats, they're up 12-4 over Manly. And on the women's bracket, we've got a couple of close ones. Chaos are up 8-4 over that's Zig Theory. And then Fuse up 7-6 on Spicy Chili. That, I'm going to call upset load on that one, Andy. Fuse yet to win a game this weekend. Spicy Chili were there contending with 
They went universe point with Manly. They've gone toe to toe, but have uh, dropped off late yesterday and early today. So if you can keep that going, that could be one of the upsets of the weekend. Yeah, Fuse unlucky, I thought. I, I mean, we've watched a couple of their yeah. games. Um, right in it. So to hear that they haven't won one is, yep. uh, yeah, they won't be having fun. Love the energy from that team. Just so much. Oh, so for much sure. voice, so much chat, cheering and yelling for every just every well, you know, block, it's, every goal. It's not a Brisbane team. Yeah. It's an Irish team with some, an Brisbane, Irish team with some Brisbane pickups. Imports, yeah. Dublin slash Marucci door. And so when you, you bring that band uh, across... How's the pull from Thorpe? That's sitting up. That's giving time for Frey and Taylor pass. to get down there and put defense on the first pass. It makes such a difference. Ozzy's gone. Wood, huge big layout there from Tiernan Summers. And <laughs> French with the second effort. Great save. Keeping it alive. Pentland winds up the back end. He's got Caston versus Frey. This is to Caston's advantage. He's Watch out. Keep it on the fence. Watch out. Just, two, just 10 metres too much on that throw. I think got carried by the breeze a bit. But that's it. They're the shots they've got to take. They're the shots they've got to take. As you see that big bit from Summers there. Got a fingertip to it. But French with the French with the save. Keeping it alive. Ash, we've had some questions from the live chat. Are you injured? Yep. We have a hamstring from we Evans. Have a, we have a heart uh, string injured by Ash Evans. One week? One to two weeks. One to two weeks, okay. Good news. Yeah. He has his cleats on, but he's a uh, oh, great day from Summers. So, uh, so Evans is out, yes. Yeah. Thorpe to restart. 64 from goal. Puts it wide for Wilson. Milks some metres out of it. Back to Thorpe. Wilson getting busy at this point. Great Finds his Wyndham teammate and Taylor. Aussie's covering everything deep, so if Hoss are going to yeah, generate, it's going to be from under. Unders, unders. Menzies. Got Taylor deep, takes the shot. Pentland and French there with him. Taylor's gone. And great run through by French. French did really well. That wasn't his defender. Yeah. I'm sorry, it wasn't his opponent. Not only did he peel off, but he read the disc really well. No, knew he needed to go early. Yeah, so because Dylan... Had just, position. Yeah, he's just great at boxing out the defender. So Pentland went around the back. And then, yeah, just gave room for French just to charge through. And just got not heaps on it, enough. Just yeah. enough to put it out of the reach of Taylor. And gets possession back for Chile. So Caston taking his time. There's a horizontal set here from Chile. We've got French and Osmond in the middle. Menzies has got the matchup on Osmond. That expect that to switch at some point. Aussie will go here. Okay, eyes on Lapari. Bottom, bottom left. Off he goes. The shot's gone. But that's to his advantage. Could not have been a better throw. He called it. Wide to French. Motoring now. Chile on the doorstep. Wood can't find space. Osmond's just got to dish it off. Finds Caston for the bailout. Has a long look upfield. Good break. Wood back to Caston. Nice little back break shot. And that was Sam Pickard, I think, that had to go for it. Good choice. Just yeah, I was about to say, funny throw, because it kind of looked safe. It looked yeah, a yeah. goal, looked a goal, looked a goal until it didn't. Yeah, just, uh, just died at the end there. Yeah. I think if Pickard had just kept his original line. Yeah, correct, yeah. I think he just second-guessed where it was going. And doubled back. Pat Thorpe uh, starting to move into cult uh, figure status on the chat. Inside shot to Taylor. Taking a couple of goes. He's saying up. Chile is saying down. I think they're going to keep it with him. Yeah, he's had, definitely had a couple of goes at it. We can see one, two, three. Had to cut it off back to the back actual level. Play to Wilson. Lots of yap, but then maybe the disc hasn't lied on disc that occasion. Light. Out of the reach of Menzies. Had to worry about where his feet were. So Chile again with another chance, this time with about 30 metres to advance. Pinned to that high sideline, though, so they've gone to a vertical set. Again, check Lapari, bottom of the screen. Eyes on him. Pentland. Milk some distance out of it. Nice Back to right. Wood. Lapari's deep. Yep. 
Happy to pass around my time possession. They've kept plenty of space open for the handlers. Shots going over the top. There's Lapari. Fakes the high back end. Contact call. Play's going on. Everyone stopped and Kastner's just kept going. So, so Lapari's in his right just to call contact and play keeps going. And I think he did, but players stop. But that doesn't really matter. If, no, if Lapari's called contact and... Oh, that goal should stand. Yeah. Game advisor there. They're saying goal. Joking on saying we all stopped, though. It's like, well, no one major stopped. There's no, no unless there. he did call the foul, but I don't think... Well, he, that's the thing. If based he off, said foul... Yeah, based off his body language here, I don't think he's called foul. So, yeah. play hasn't stopped, so... It's a goal. Yeah. It's def definitely contact there. Like, he's put the fake out. And yeah. Yeah, and Declan bit on it. Yeah, and they've had a chat, and they've just gone on with it. So, I think... So, I think this is going to be about what call was actually made. So, okay, so they're just contesting it and going back. So, we'll see if we can get some insight later on what happened there. But so you, want, you want Chile to score this. Lepari will go yeah. mental if this t is a turn. About five minutes from goal, he's got. He sends the shot up to Osmond, and that's finally getting off five onto six. Just got to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Yeah, I mean that was what you said before, Simon. They've, they've done what they've needed to now on on O, so, and yeah. uh, it's about putting a big D run in here. So we're going to look at this one from Taylor. He's got one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So. Did he have control? He definitely had two hands on it. And then once he had two hands on it, it went to ground. But did he have control of it? Hands, it's yeah. a tricky one. We've obviously got the benefit of, you know, close-up replays and slow-mo and whatnot. So he's got two hands on it. So obviously he's going to say, yep, I did. But If he uh, did, it wasn't by much. No. But everyone accepted his call. Lapari's hammer shot to Osmond. See, so that's... We're going to see more of those over-the-top shots come Big because time. they've got to make Juggernaut defend the whole field. Like, we saw that we saw that one, that long shot from Pentland go out the back, but you've just got to let Juggernaut know, hey, we're, we're going to start doing that because Juggernaut are really taking away that sort of short under space, that, that range of 10 to 20 metres from the disc. So that's why we're seeing lots of resets from Chile because they Juggernaut can't kind of given that up in favour of something else. As we see, Regaki with the pull. Nice and floaty. Going to put them back in their own end zone. Not quite in there for the first pass. Caliviotis unguarded. Della charging across the middle. There's been a call some time ago. Yeah. I think it might be I think it was an foul. offensive foul. Yeah, correct. So I think Castriano's pushed off Turner as he took off. Uh, just had a chat with Lapari. It was as we thought. So he called the contact. Yep. So that goal should have stood. But anyway, they, he scored it. Yeah, right. He got to throw a nice hammer to score it too. So, yeah. Silver lining. Much Josh. better than just a little five metre back end. Yeah, exactly. Looks cooler. So just, I think the foul call's been accepted. They're just yep. working out when and where it starts from now. It lifts us up 10 7 over Sunder Dice at the moment. Then <laughs> Clivio's is making friends out there. He's a friendly dude. He is a very friendly man. The George Costanza of Ultimate. Well, I was about to say, when you talk about cult figures, none gets bigger than uh, the Greek mate. The Toff. Castriano to Bar. Good under from Maka. Yeah, 40 from goal. Back. Sweeney. Clivio's, and there we go. We knew it was coming soon. Reg Turner with the big layout block, and that has lit up the Chile sideline. They are up and about, and they have a chance to get a break back on the board. They've got about 25 metres to go. They're pinned to the high sideline, and who else do you want with the disc in your hands at a moment like this than T. Regaki? Sends the backhand, looking for Nathan Payne. Oh, no. Couple of hands on it. Sweeney's got it. Payne's got to go. Bar's got to go. Payne's come down with it. And Chile have their seventh goal. This is exactly what you need if you're Chile. Something to just put a bit that of a spark. a spark into the game, exactly. Turner's provided that. Turner's provided the 
The source, Payne's giving them the ignition. Payne. The flame burns. Very good son, Nathan Payne. Got to sh put a shout out to his mum for her birthday on the feed yesterday. <laughs> Continuing the party today. And a heartbreaker for um, for Juggernaut because they had two players in there, but it just bobbled well, they up. They got hands on it. They got hands on it, but... Catchy D's. Two in one, and then I think it was, yeah, Sweeney got the first look at it, and it <laughs> bobbled up. But even then, if Sweeney hadn't have touched it, yeah. Seb would have, yeah, and an excellent elevation from Payne. Oh, a way to keep the feeding bounce, too. That's, yeah. There's a lot he had to focus on there, too. Yeah, a bit doing. Two defenders going at him. Floaty disc. Uh, so the update on midfield. Chile unhappy with the trades that have been... Uh, I think everyone was profit, so happy with that. ...profit so that far, so need to... Uh, Need to sweeten the deal or at least throw in some steak knives. He's looking warm, though. He's got a uh, jumper on, jacket on. Dog watch, I think that uh, belongs. That's the Kelpie of the Ballarat Ultimate President, Leah Cushion. Ballarat Ultimate providing lots of volunteers and local support for this event. Fantastic. And plenty of them out here spectating as well, enjoying the high level of Ultimate we've got here. Tom Duncan. With the pull. That's a good one. Yeah, that's going to roll. It's forcing Juggernaut to field it on the bounce. Del hang, whoa, hang on, hang on. We'll come back to that, Sweeney. Mm. Mac is poached here. McDonald. Phillips gone. Castriano. Wants an under. He's got Bar. Looking for Sweeney. Sweeney, yeah, it's, there's been a little bit of argy bargy going on between Sweeney and Blisa. And uh, given the intensity of the games raised, they've probably started going at each other a bit, but Blaze are giving an excellent dramatic rendition of the foul, and I think. Who's going to chat about? I think there may be sort of. We've got Andy over there listening in. Andy, have you got any, heard much over there? Yeah, so there's just a discussion. This isn't uh, about just this point. Um, yeah. I think they're saying something around how um, Sweeney is trying to get around and initiating yeah. contact is dropping the, sh the the term that was used is that you're dropping the shoulder as you yeah. cut around me withdrawn though yeah retracted call Sweeney to Della I think uh, sometimes a foul like that yeah is just putting a marker down to say hey look you've kind of been doing it all well, game we've been doing it all day and now it's probably getting too much now yeah. so yeah but it's good that it's, it's fine to stop and have the chat and so boys are well within his right to withdraw the call and get on with it Floaty lateral to Paolo. Paolo's got a lot of players going away from him. Sweeney's drifted out to the back of the stack. McDonald. Seb and, Seb and uh, Gak marking each other in the stack. Low shot to Phillip. Picks it up off his shoelaces. Low, flat from Paolo to Della. Tommy Della with the big airplane celebration. It's just such now, a rude lid, isn't it? At the very, very start of the point, Andy, I feel like I'm, I feel like we're the only two that saw it. The Della sort of fielded it on the bounce and then put it down. I'll put it this way. If uh, Dylan Taylor's grab catch was a catch, then uh, Tom Della had possession. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. But no, no one else said anything, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Look, but Tom was on the field. Tom was running down. If someone would have seen yeah, it, it would have been Tom. Been and Tom he would have been, been the yeah, first yeah. to say, hey, I think you've uh, well, not even dropped the pool. Yeah. You picked it up and dropped it. Another goal to Ellipsis in the quarterfinal behind us. They are up 11-7 over Sunder Dice. I'm looking back over my shoulder. A lot of hands on heads, a lot of hands on hips from Sunder Dice. Not the most positive of body language. Looking for answers she there. She might have done that I think one. our production crew is going to give us another look at that... Uh, that at some point they're just trying to find an angle on it. Anyway, I think I'm, I think I'm just going nuts. Well, Andy, I was going to say you, you might be opening Pandora's box great. here. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. He's it's bounced. He's got two hands on it. He just puts it down. Well, when you show it in slow mo, it doesn't do any favors either. <laughs> that is a turn. <laughs> All right. A turnover. All right. Let's uh, back live. I will argue that to the death. Caston, Wood. So this comes back to what you were saying earlier, Simon. This part they just have to do. This is just the not negotiable. Just score the goal. Get your defensive unit back out there. Lapari. 
Aussie so free. You, you can hear them counting. They'll switch to a match match shortly. Osman, long time to look up field. <laughs> Do had another sniff of that one. Couldn't get it around Caston's arms. Osman, French. He's got Picard running deep. He's got Lapari moaning around under. Lots of lateral movement. Plenty of small ball here. Caston to Lapari. He's got Osman deep. One out with Eichner. He's put the hammer up. He's looking for French. French underneath it. And there you go. Sometimes the drop. it's a very simple sport sometimes, Andy. You spot up the tall fella. You pop it in his vague direction. And let him do the work. No, he uh, read it well, just protected the drop zone, even though yep. he kind of had to have two bites at the cherry because he'd set up in the right spot. Yeah, it's an excellent read. Like, it was uh, not the most direct of hammers. Into into a slight breeze, so held up. But, yeah, just... Uh, well... I mean, if you've got Osmond and Regaki sitting there... Yeah, why not? <laughs> so, uh, so um, Sunder, uh, a little bit more animated. I think there was a really big turn and a goal. So, yeah, I right. think... Uh, maybe, maybe they found something. Third assist there for Lapari, and that might be French's second goal too. So that's a connection we probably, Juggernaut probably might want to be wary of as this game draws on. A shout out to uh, to the motherland, Dara Kelleher, giving some love for Podge. From memory, Dara plays a, a pretty mean uh, tin whistle. <laughs> or his brother, one of them. Although it's in Ireland, most yeah, yeah. of them probably play the tin whistle. That or the Boron. Rigaki on to play defense. He sent this pull long and deep. That stays in bounds. That's going to pin him right back. Will. Near the back of the end zone. Great chase by Huang. Pressure on the second pass. Della. McDonald in space. Put it low on oh, flat. Rigaki's chasing. I think McDonald may have heard the footsteps I was coming. About to say, yeah. Kelly, he's got Pupko going deep. Takes Oliver Hang under. Police are getting some attention there from Hemrickson. Pupko wants to keep it moving, Kelly. Energy stepped up here, yeah, Simon. 25 from goal. Payne gets a lateral. Has a look at the high side. Regaki is pointing. Hammer goes up. Regaki versus Stella. And everyone stopped. I think it'll be an uncontested foul. Yeah, uncontested foul. Def Della definitely caught the arm there. Good contest in the air from both those two. So Della will, Rigaki will walk it back to the end zone line. Everyone else can move once he starts moving. So you've got Rigaki with the disc on the goal line to get another break. They'll isolate probably Turner here versus Phillip. Pops it up over the top, Turner. Another break. Easy goal. Let's him know about it. 12 9. So that was Regaki popping it up over to Reg Turner. And that might be Turner's second goal, maybe. I think we've seen him in the end zone a lot. Yeah. yeah. Turner's uh, third goal. So he's getting busy on the D line. And Tom Regaki's third assist. Wouldn't be surprised if we see that number up to five mm. or six a bit later. He's going to get busy, but he's on the bench for now. Just let. Let the young fellas do this one. So 12 9. Juggernaut got their O line out again. They've given up that one. So the energy's definitely amped up on the sideline. Quite a few, uh, quite a few Chile supporters here from their from their fresh team who um, didn't have the best of weekends last weekend at Div 2, but certainly in their full voice support here. So, see Regaki's got the one block in that point. Three assists. Bar, Castiano. Lots of easy laterals being given up, but they're not really progressing down the field. Castiano calling for more cars to come inside Chile's zone. Juggernaut can't get sucked in here. Uh, Chile have upped their intensity. That doesn't mean heads of state need to on their yep. on their own. Whatever's been working for 90% of their own, 
has been no, working. Yeah. No just, hero shots. Just take all the heat out of it. Yeah, let them run around a bit, absorb that pressure. Wait for that let up then attack. Fairly on playing offense. Just maybe to provide a bit of that steadiness. Big cross field to Della. Della's got Eichner and McDonald sitting deep. Paolo, safe hands. Threw it right Barrels through. Cassiano <laughs> over. Cut him in half. Sweeney directing traffic. A lot of pointing, a lot of talking. Putting, play, putting players where he wants them. Paolo. See, this is the thing. You've got two free options at any point. Like, yeah. just bunt, chip it around. It's my time possession. That's... Turner getting close. Turner getting close to Della there, and Della's just letting him know that's a bit too much there. Paolo yeah. having words as well. well. Turner's not going to step down. I'm, don't mind this. Don't mind this chat. Yeah, but I think Paolo, similar to the call before, yeah. that's not the first time. Yeah, I think yeah. that, and that's why the players are having words to go. Yeah. Hey, you, once, you, twice. Okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. Eichner, good field awareness. Last little one twos. Four Good metres from the end zone now. Good adjustment from Kelly to get in there. Saw where the yep. dangerous space yep. was. Had to stay stabilised. Juggernaut, 13-9. Yep. Cristiano, I just... I've uh, had the fortune and pleasure of coaching Reg Turner at a university level and um, love love his energy. Definitely belongs at the top level of the open game. But yeah, Castriano, I think... Um, may have been a... I was, I was a bit like you... I was a bit like you once, young Padawan. A bit, <laughs> bit angry and a bit fired up, but uh, nothing wrong with it. Just a bit of boundary setting, and we're all good. Yep. Um, Chile didn't really have a force set on after they switched to match there, so it just meant that um, Eichner and Castiano just had a look at both sides of the end zone. We saw Kelly get involved, as you said, but then yeah, Paolo, that was just far too easy a backhand. And that's uh. Updates from around the ground, Simon. Yep. So Fishwick are about to, uh, you'd think, advance. They're up 14-7 against Manly. Sunder have put an end to Sublime's campaign. 15-9, Sunder wow. up. Uh, Fishwick have now won 15-7 against Manly. Yep. Chaos look comfortably in control, 13-6 on Zig. And the game that you were talking about, uh, Fuse versus Spicy Chili. Fuse up 9-8 on Spicy Chili. Wow. Paolo with four assists. That's huge for a D-line player to be not only... He's got the one block. A couple of bricks as well, I think. McDonald, three goals. That's the other That's the other highlight. He's getting free in the end zone, I think. Della, the only other... Della and Eichner, the other multiple goal scorers for Juggernaut. Thought with a big high float, he pulled. That That'll will land thing. out of bounds. Right by the feet <sighs> of coach Kieran Hudson, who... Uh, I hope the effects mic didn't pick up what he just said about that pull, because I did, and it was uh, not pleasant. Not nice? No. So Riley Wood, he'll put Chile into play. Looks like Chile coming out of... 44 from goal. Chile coming out of a traditional horror. Yep. So they've got Harrison White and Josh Lapari as their mids. Caleb Liu, Lockie Eichner had the matchups. Tien and Summers at the top of the screen with the matchup on Osman there. You think he'll be the end result of this play. Agreed. We see Harrison Waters drifted out to the handle space, opening up some territory downfield. Kasten having a long look upfield. Wilson nearly getting involved. They're out now. Picard attacks. Kasten, he's put the big loopy backhand up out to the advantage of Harrison Waters, who runs into it at pace. And Chile stay in touch, 13-10. I think that did well. I think the they're not going to find they're not going to brute force a way through Juggernaut's defense. So the play is to try and uh, not necessarily bait, but wait for Juggernaut just to have that go. And we saw we we'll see it here. Jack Wilson had a go at that yep. uh, little dish pass, and it just enabled Pickard to drift away from him. And then Juggernaut were just on their heels for the rest of that point. Great finishing pass too. Just yeah. hit him at pace. That was that. Um, that was Pentland catching the goal. Uh, no, it was Harrison White, I think. Oh, I reckon it was Pentland. Yeah, that, I, oh, okay. I know that run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was just I getting a tall, skinny white boy. confused. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah it'd be forgiven. Yep. 76-16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's having a game, Pentland. Yep. 
Rogers having a good game. Rigaki back on the field. We've got Kelly Osmond. I don't think I've seen a sub or a water bottle for about half an hour. Lapari. I think Picard's out there. Blisa. Evans. And then offensive juggernaut. Just the standard offensive line. No fancy switches this time. No. Phillip, Sweeney, Caliviotis, Hemrickson, Bart, McDonald, Castriano. Oh, Hush has fallen over. The, 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 the tension here. I think that's, here. I think that's what you want. I think yeah. if you're if you're heads you want this to be boring. Yep. You want you this want to you be want the Wayne Jane because then you're fourteen ten. Yeah, they've got they've got two goals to win. Yeah. They can just put in their next two offensive points and we're done. This one will just come back. <laughs> Almost hits Castrogano. Fantastic so. floaty pull. I tell you what, Melbourne Juggernaut chance in their hands with everything to do with the pull. Hamrickson, Bar, Polivio is coming under. He's got McDonald going deep. Off he goes. He's going to have to work. He's going to his advantage too much though. He had to, Bar had to put that shot out there because he couldn't give Turner a sniff at yeah. it. So, yeah. but, but if it was flat, I think Mac could run yeah, onto yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Fading it away from your receiver. It's a difficult one to run down. So so I think an interesting uh, matchup here. I think we'll have probably the youngest player on the field, marking, I think you could say, the oldest. Yeah, Phillip he's comfortably the oldest. Philip getting a nice wide flat mark. Does not want Rugaki to take that early shot. Lateral. Evans has to have two goes at it. Kelly with the lead out. Gets Kelly's gone. wound up. He's got Turner versus McDonald. This is going to sit in the air for a while. There are going to be numbers here eventually. Turner goes early. What a catch. Not quite in bounds. Has to play from there. He's got plenty of players surrounding him. Looks to go over the top. Regaki with the short one. Once over the top. Lapari gets on the dance floor. Shows us his moves. Gets free. And 13-11. Here they come. There's a break conversion that Chile have been chasing. We saw they at half they had 0 from 5. I think they've been 2 out of their last 2. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we said that that was the story in the first half. That's what needed to change, and that's what they've adjusted. Yeah. So Rigaki's fourth assist. We, we caught it before. We, we think he'd end up on 5 or 6. Here we go. And that's perfect timing if you're chilly. running out of opportunities, really, yep. to try and put that pressure. The Hoss only need to score two more O points. Yep. But that uh, that opportunity goes begging. And 11-13 is enough for things just to get a little bit tight. Yep. So Lapari, he's got the three assists. That's his first goal. He's also... Gonna be busy. He's back on. Is he back on the field again? No, he's coming off this time. They've kept Turner out there. You see, Coach Sahil Patel. He'll be out there calling this line. Usually, he's a coach that just lets the sort of line call it. But every now and then, he'll get out there and make the choice for them. We've got the lights on here. Don't know why. Not sh entirely sure why, Simon. I mean, it is what 10:30 in the morning. Duncan Not a puts sky. everything into that pool. Goes for hang time, more so than distance. So then it's not going to get to the end zone, but they're going to be there to defend the first pass. They've got four handles back with Della, one out in the middle versus Miller. Castiano. They're pretty deep. And Sweeney bouncing around. Bar. No cutters getting free in that under space. Della finally gets under. So oh. Ogden coming towards him. He puts the shot. Castiano versus Turner. And it's gone out to the advantage. And then Duncan's there, just having a yap. Duncan didn't even get involved in that play. But so clean. I think it ended up being just a drop under pressure there from Castiano. Duncan to Miller. Cops the bump from Della. I think that's happened one or two times between these lads today. Mm. But they're It's going back the other way now. Yeah, I think that's unintentional. So Della quick to accept that foul call. Has a look upfield. He's put it up. There's a bit of a miscommunication there, but White doubles back and gets it. He's got Pupko going long. Arctus had to go early. Pupko's got it. There's another break. 13-12. She's a ring-a-ding. We got a game. We have a game. The Chile supporters up and about. Now Juggernaut are up and about trying to get a bit of a lift for their offensive line. 
Harrison White there. We see just Turner had enough pressure on it that Cashiano ended up having to go, go one-handed. Yeah. It was smart by Duncan to not. He could have run through and got that, but I think he just thought, well, I just had to be a presence. Not sure I could do it cleanly, so no. I'm just going to let it go. And I think Castriano might have seen him out of the line. So Harrison White, we can see. I think that was a backhand shot in the end. Wow, we. Cool. That was through a half up in window. Post timeout called. Post timeout called. Not surprised. So we can see the two huddles from Hoss here. So their offensive line have just given up a couple. So isolating them. The D, uh, I'd say they're getting prepared. Like they're back in. What well, they'll be backing to happen here is that offense put this one in and then they're putting D out to win the game. So D are just starting to get mentally ready for that now. So we get some quick updates around the grounds. Ellipsis up 13 8 on Sunder Dice. I'm seeing a big celebration over there. I think that might be Lippy getting another one. So we can just about say that that one's done. We've also got Zig still fighting back against Chaos. They've put a couple on the board. It's 14 8 in favour of Chaos. And then Chile. Fuse are up 10 9. It looks like that game's just trading. Uh, the hope is for Fuse, you'd want to try and get a two-goal lead, I reckon. You don't want to, you don't want uh, Michelle hit Phillips in an end-game scenario when she's on offense or this one break with Katie Yoshida throwing it to her. So, who is our defensive line for Chile? We've got Rigaki, we've got Payne, Blisa, Kelly, Miller, Lapari. Is there a seventh or is that six? Oh, David Evans hiding at the back there. So Hill Patel getting vocal. So we can hear both sidelines starting to get loud. Not long left in this game, I think. I'm not sure if we've hit time cap yet. 100 minutes today, I've been told. 100 minute time caps for the knockout games. Regaki, big high floaty pull. Huge Sweeney. sideline from Chile, uh, Simon. Bar. They've chucked Eichner on to provide a bit of cutting firepower. Miller's got the job on Della again. Bar. Oh no, he's gone too early. Lapari makes sure of that block. Rigaki picks it up, wants to move it. Blisa looks high side, no one moving for him. They're giving him the backhand shot, I've put it out to the advantage of Payne, he's got one over on Powerlay. I think he's gone down. Yeah, he's oh, cramped no up good, bad. No good. Yep. That might be more than a cramp, actually. Really had to extend himself there to get that catch. So I'll take the injury sub. Nathan's mum's watching, so Leanne will keep you uh, keep you posted on him. Just a bit too much work there from Castiano in that reset space. Set bar just putting it putting it to the initial cut. Castiano double back, and yeah, Payne, I think might have just. Lost a bit of grip underfoot there when he's reached out for that one. He is up. Yeah. He's up. They're getting it, helping him off the field, but it's still going to be a chilly disc. In the meantime, Chaos have closed out the game against Zig Theory. 15-8 will progress to a quarter final against Ellipsis. I'm going to say Asterisk. It's a 50-50 shot. They've brought on Wood. Oh. They have the disc. Magaki picking it up off his knees. He's looking high side. You now he looks. He's taking the easy shot. Castriano lost his footing. And they're contending Lapari. May have been contact there. I missed it. I'm not sure if any. Yeah, so it was, it was definitely earlier in the cut. So yep. um, there was contact between Lapari and, and Tony. Yeah. That's why Josh was so free open and Tony was on the ground. So yep. tangled legs. So it's going back. Accept. They're going to have a chat, yeah. And so Tom and uh, Seb are going to be having a chat about the count because yeah. it was pretty high. Eyes on Kelly. Eyes on Mike Kelly. Front of the stack. He's got the McDonald match up. I wouldn't be surprised. Mac, McDonald will have to play tight. You cannot, left, you cannot let Kelly drift out to this low side when Regaki has the disc. Oh, boy. There we go. He's had to extend for it. Well done, Michael. Juggernaut forcing backhand. Forcing to the high side. Powerlay getting busy with the end. High stall count, toss over the top, Rigaki to Wood. Lapari. He gets it. They've done it. 13 all. back. Doesn't Lapari love it? That's his second goal. That's Rigaki's fifth assist, I think, fifth or sixth. 
He got uh, five he assists. Got the D as well. Wood assist, sorry. Wowee. Yep, Lapari getting busy this game. He's now got. He'd be up there with best on. Yeah, second goal, third assist. Yeah, absolutely. Kelly having to re work for that one. Again, getting two hands to it, making sure of it. It's a classic training scenario, best of three. That's it. So, juggernaut to receive. We're not going to see more than three. We're not going to see more than three goals left in this game. It's first to fifteen. Even if we get to time cap, that score target will remain. On paper, Hoss with the slight advantage here because they'll be coming out on O. Yep. But it wouldn't feel like it. I mean, we said earlier but in the game, ultimate can be a game of runs. Yep. And that's exactly what we've seen with uh, well with Chile. They've been on over the last few points, and look where we are. So they've got their O line, but they've got Eichner and Powley out there as well. So it's and Chile on defense. Regaki's out there. They've got Harry White, Tom Duncan, Reg Turner, Luke Blisa. I think that's Ollie Huang and James Osmond. Earlier games have finished, Simon, so that means there is a crowd quickly building. We've There's got a crowd building and getting in our way. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Gav. Paolo feels the pull. Castriano urging Sweeney to get moving. Eichner just ahead of White. Paolo just providing a bit of composure. Castriano moving up field and getting busy. Della, Barr's gone deep. Eichner's gone deep. Bar on the sideline, about 20 from goal. Looks inboard. Dele's <laughs> waited for that one. White's going around him. He peeled off his marker. Great anticipation there. Good read of the play. And the dingo pushing 50. Tom Rigaki himself picks it up. 40 minutes from goal. He wants the back end wide up. He's gone to Turner. Turner versus Castiano. Castiano takes front spot. Turner goes over the, the top. top. Huge and Chile's hit the lead. Huge grab. Would you have imagined it, Simon, at half? I think it was an 8-4 half. 8-4 half. This has been quite the second half from Chile. They have found the level required. And so now it is advantage Chile. Heads of State will come out and know that even if they score, they will have to get a turn to win. So it was 10-4 to start a half. 10-4, pegged back to 14-13 lead. Advantage Chile. Gaki himself picks it up to put their offense in and goal. then get he a turn to up. win. He's got the turn up. Turn Chile only Castellano. needs one Castellano. score. Down it goes over the top. top. That was just a one shot, it wasn't it? So fifth assist, fifth assist for Tom Gaki. Fourth goal for Turner. And if you are uh, an international represent, uh, representative, tuning in, be very scared of that man because he is going to Worlds in a Dingo's uniform and you'll be marking up on him. Every year, everyone wonders if he still got it. Every year, Question shows him. as he has. Yeah, doubt him at your peril. So Juggernaut's offensive line, we've got Della, Pele. They've pulled across Mike Tronk, Sweeney, McDonald, Castiano, Barr. I mean, and Simon, we spoke about it right off the top. A dormant rivalry has just come roaring back to life. We were talking about before. We don't know the last. We don't know the last time Chile beat Juggernaut. It's been at least since 2019 that they've defeated them in a tournament. Castiano's gone deep. Wouldn't mind seeing Donald Podgy Central. get a bit more of it. Lots happening around this for Bar. Sweeney gets ahead of Lapari. Della's gone deep. Castiano's free on the under. There are there are 300 people on the sideline right now, Simon. McDonald getting busy. He's put that one higher. Sweeney has to go up. 30 from goal. Bar free. They're giving, they're giving up too many easy unders here, Chile. Tron getting in the handle of space. Della busy now. He's got Sweeney going long. He's got McDonald in short. Ultimate being played very Ooh. close here. Zed baits the block. Pele, he's got... Della going deep. He had a big think about that long back end, and Sweeney has fumbled it. Sweeney went to spend it before he had he's it. He's fumbled it. He's put it out of bounds. This Chile have a shot to win the game here. To win the quarterfinal. Down 8-4 for all money gone. 
but you never count this man out. Tom Regaki, 42, marked by Tony. Eyes on White, eyes on White at the back of the stack. He's coming under, he's going to go deep. Lapari. we've got Mike Kelly, one out versus Trump in the middle. Paolo on the mark. We've got about 40 minutes to go, getting to that high side. Kelly, a lot of biff happening around the disc. Had a good game, Kelly. Yeah, not many. Big, wide, loopy throw. Huge bid. Gleeson keeps playing alive. White's gone deep. Not many cuts happening here. Pick's been called. Pick, pick, pick. There are a lot of exhausted bodies out there. The adrenaline pumping through. This sideline is absolutely packed. There is no room to look or speak Let's go, Come or on, hear Macca. anything. I hope you can hear my voice over the crowd here because I certainly can't hear myself. Kelly pops up. Castellano goes for it. regaki has got the free shot. Puts it up. Turner versus Sweeney. Turner's got, got, got it. Chile have won. Oh, there's Probably a call. There's, there's a call. call. There's a call. There's a call. Pick call. So there's a pick call. Pick there, call. There, absolutely everything is happening. So Tony is down. Tom's looking after him. And there's a pick call. Pick call to the stack. Some general players are signaling goal. I think and it is a goal. The call's retracted. It's a goal. That's it. We're done. That is going to be one of the biggest upsets, one of the biggest come from behind wins in Australian Ultimate Championships, and certainly in recent history. And for the first time, I didn't even look this up, Andy, but that's going to be the first time in nearly a decade that we've seen Chile reach the semi-finals of the Australian Ultimate Championships. You mentioned it before, uh, Simon. Credit to the Chile team. Had to rebuild. Yep. Gone are the days of Whelans and Humphreys and, uh, and Tao Brown. They've, they've rejuvenated their, uh, their roster. And from, like you said, not even making a Div 1 to now, yeah. sorry, uh, making a semi, yeah. phenomenal turnaround. And a phenomenal turnaround in the game as well. 8-4, yeah. that's done. Uh, Regaki got busy, six assists, Turner, five goals. And I think probably three or four of them were the Regaki to Turner. And just when, the, when a guy like Turner, when he's on fire, back him in, keep sending it to him. Incredible run, so... On an 11 to three, 11 to three goal run to close out that game. Well, we do say ultimate a momentum sport, but not, not only in this game, but hopefully, as we did see that, that was a phenomenal take to keep the point alive. Uh, Chile will have their their backs up going into the semi. Yeah, they've got every right to be there. Uh, so let's hope that they can continue a, a run. They will be the uh, the underdog story of the tournament from now. I think. Absolutely. So our top four. We have Fishwick United out of Canberra. We have Chile out of Melbourne. We have Sunder Slice out of Sydney and Ellipsis Ultimate out of Melbourne. So they're our top four. Could we be seeing first-time champion in Fishwick or could we be seeing a return to the dais for Sunder or Chile? We've got the semi-final action happening later, but soon enough we're going to have a quarter-final match-up in the women's division. We're not sure who that could... We've got Factory out of Canberra, Rogue out of Sydney. That will be an absolute belter of a game, Andy. So we'll be back with that probably before probably before too long. This has been a fantastic watch, Andy. Yeah, I'm a bit flat. I won't I'm, lie. I'm flat but too. Uh, I'm, I'm full flat. credit to Chile. I'm That's acting, a phenomenal. I'm full acting here. I'm yeah, yeah, genuinely yeah. yeah, I'm just out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out of beans. Yeah. I'm, I'm watching Tony just absolutely break down, and that's yeah. uh, getting hard, me a bit misty uh, yeah. too. But as we said, full credit to Chile. Fantastic game. Yep. Uh, privilege for the Ulti TV um, in partnership with the AFDA. Privilege to be able to bring it to you. That's just how much people love their sport. Yep. Mark Isherwood consoling him. So the next game will be on live at 11.30 Australian Eastern Savings Time, which is about 40 minutes from now. So... Keep the Ulti TV YouTube channel in your favourites. Keep it up on your favourite device and browser. We'll be back with women's quarterfinal action later this morning. Mindful moments. Learning ancient traditions. Golden hours spent pressing pause on time. Afternoons wild away absorbing wisdom and treasure hunts that never disappoint. Whatever brings you to Ballarat, you'll always return remade.
Yeah. Alti.tv.